Hello, Year 9. This is our final lesson on chores. So we are going to uh, work on making sure that we understand tenses in chores so that we can reach uh, the highest grades possible. We're going to make sure that we are capable of giving examples of chores in other tenses. So future, perfect, and imperfect, preferably. And we're going to be completing a an extended piece of writing on chores. So for today's lesson, you will need to either use your um, computer if you've got one, or you will need a piece of paper and a pen and anything to time yourself with. So that's a stopwatch, a watch, your phone, anything that you can count time on. So for your starter, before you do starter, sorry, we need to be writing the date and copying the title, underlining both of them. And then in your starter, you see the six sentences, two green, two amber, two red. You need to translate as many of them as you can in English. So write down one to six and then write them straight in English. You need to, to pause the video and you have got five minutes to complete the task. Your next task will require you to write down the answers in English because the questions are in English. So this is just a recap of everything that we have done on the topic of chores. So it might be a good idea to look back in your uh, previous work so that you have a look and think about what you have already done. So you need to answer each question by putting first the color of it, and you can number them. So green one, green two, amber one, amber two, red one, red two. And you do as many of them as you can. You will have 10 minutes. You are allowed to look back at your work from previous lessons, I said. So you have 10 minutes, pause the video, write your answers in English, and then start the video again. Okay, Yolan, this is your final task. This is a writing task. At the top of the screen, you can see the title, describe what people do to help around the house. So this is your general title. And then it's divided into green, amber, and red as usual. You will need one, two, or three paragraphs, depending on the tenses that you're using, depending on the quantity that you're doing. So I only need the best that you can do. So you can start with writing the green box. So three chores I do, two opinions and one justification. And then add from the next box, the amber box, whatever amount is required for the second box. So for example, in the green box, it says three chores I do, but in the amber box, it says four chores I do. So from the green to the amber, you need to add one more chore. Okay. So look at what you can do and include as many of the elements as you can. So you only need to be looking at the most that you can do. I would suggest that you kind of tick them off as you go along so you know what you've done and you know what you still have to do. You can use the revision card. You can use your previous work if you want to. I need you to be checking for your accuracy of spelling. So go back in your book, check the spelling. You need to make sure that you put the best that you can on the paper. You have 20 minutes to complete this task. You need to be pausing the video, counting 20 minutes, and then start the video again. Right, so this is the end of your lesson for today. Now, before you close this, you need to be uploading onto class charts what you have done today. So I need your starter. So whatever amount of sentences in English you have written. Then I need your green, amber, and red recap answers. So you've got six maximum to write. 
and then you've got to upload your final paragraph which will be marked for you. Thank you.